Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Gracious with MBG Organizing Solutions, and today I want to talk to you about Microsoft SharePoint. Right next to me I have some materials that I will be presenting in a SharePoint training class next week, and so I've been thinking a lot about this tool from Microsoft that they have put out there for web-based or cloud-based collaboration within organizations. For those of you who aren't familiar with SharePoint, it's, it's an online collaboration tool that's meant to be almost like a company intranet, but that it gives security and access to the sites that, that, that SharePoint contains to the users, which is really nice. That kind of decentralized structure can be very helpful not having to go through a central IT department to gain and lose access to certain pieces of information. But SharePoint has lots of features that people can find very helpful. First of all, SharePoint has things like document libraries. You can store documents, share documents, and link to them through SharePoint. SharePoint has blogs. It's not the blog you might be thinking about where people go online and people subscribe to it, but it's a format of communication and it uses blog type functionality. There are also discussion boards, task lists, calendars, and places for announcements. You could have wikis, web pages, reports, and even uh, forms with workflows. SharePoint has a lot of tools. But if your organization has introduced SharePoint, or if you're thinking of doing so, here are some thoughts on SharePoint. First of all, people do need training on it. That, that's very essential. You can't just put a new tool out there and say, hey, here it is. So plan for training, uh, not just on a one-shot deal, but on an ongoing basis for employees so that they can understand what this is used for. Also have res centralized resources to support user questions for SharePoint on a regular basis. Once people go to training, then they're still going to need to understand you know, certain features of it, advanced features, and they're going to need to, ha need to have a help desk of sorts to make phone calls to and ask questions. But on a strategic standpoint, I recommend if you're going to implement SharePoint, you, you consider replacing an existing tool that your organization has with SharePoint instead of adding SharePoint on top of the situation because what I have seen happen is that people who are introduced to SharePoint they say great but we already have calendars and task lists and Outlook and we can share documents on our shared network drives and we can send out announcements via email what do we do with SharePoint that we can't already do with the other items on there so if you're going to introduce that, either have very specific purposes for which you want people to use SharePoint, or don't introduce it at all, because if you put it on top of everything else, it can increase complexity. For those of you who have seen pieces of Microsoft SharePoint, you might find it very helpful for do it for project teams, for collaborative research efforts, for departmental communication and storage of information, for things like that, because the users have the ability to add and remove other users, at least they, they can if they're a power user. So Microsoft SharePoint, I think it's a great tool. I think that people need to get to know it and figure out how it fits into their day-to-day -day work. If you would like to get some more information on my SharePoint training, you may go to my website at www.mbgorganizing.com. This is Dr. Melissa Gracious, and have a great day.